if you think that the happiness is coming from the materialistic forms or from your gold or from your money or from your person or from your girl or from your boy within 6 or 7 months do you really think are you getting the same amount of happiness from the same person or the same material are you able to give the birth to your baby kolandaye solliruchu mudiyadu avanukku theriyudhu ungalku puriyala it's not in your hands they should approve who you people are always thinking from the society standards you people are always living in the society standard i am not saying anything wrong see it's enough you already lived more than enough in this way now it's time to go beyond that you have to jump or else you will again die again you will born again you will die again you will born you may call your wife chello tango darling honey baby you may call it whatever you want after they die will you call the same name with that body edu ondra aliyamal irukirado adu ondre nirandaramanadu aliyakoodiya ondre eppadi nirandaramaga irukum endradhu enakku kelu the happiness is hide and seek game once you get this car immediately your mind will start to run for some other thing will it go or not how will you get your happiness தாயுமானவர் போன்ற உயர்ந்தநிலை ஞானிகளே வெறும் மெடிடேஷனில் போகணும்னு நினச்சி மெடிடேஷனில் போய் அப்புறம் உடலை விட்டு வெளியே போயிட்டா மோட்ச வாசலின் வீட்டு கதவில் அங்கு மிங்கு மலைந்து திரிந்து மீண்டும் மனித பிறவி எடுத்து அன்பு கற்றுக்கிட்டு கருணையை கற்றுக்கிட்டு எல்லா உயிர்களும் தன் உயிர் போல நினச்சி அந்த ஃபீல் கொண்டு வந்து பிற உயிர்கள் கஷ்டப்படும் போது அழுதுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் தேவ் அட்டைன் தட் ஸ்டேட் யுவர் லவ் இஸ் டீப்லி ரூட்டட் இன் டு என்வி அண்ட் ஆல் அதர் பேட் திங்ஸ் i have seen some prince also i have seen some other kings also i have seen some other kings guardians also but the problem is when i see their eyes bokka makka nammale evlo paravalla poli the actual law to change this world through the support of the universe and nature is to make you understand something regarding this truth and you have to realize in your own thani manitha maatrame ulaga maatram edukringa illa தர்மத்தின் வழி செல்ல செல்ல கர்மத்தின் வழி குறையும் அப்பா விச் மீன்ஸ் த மோர் தர்மா யூ டூ இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் த மோர் கர்மா யூ வில் அராடிகேட் ஃப்ரம் யுவர் லைஃப் ஸ்பேன் ஃப்ரம் யுவர் பிரெயின் ஃப்ரம் யுவர் கார்மிக் பிளாக்ஸ் அண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் டி நோ வாட் இஸ் கால் தர்மா இட்ஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் எனக்கு வலிக்கிற மாதிரியும் அவனுக்கும் வலிக்கும் எனக்கு பசிக்கிற மாதிரியும் அவனுக்கும் பசிக்கும் அவ்வளோதான் தர்மா குருவே சரணம் என் பேர் பத்மினி நான் திருச்சியில் இருக்கேன் தீட்சைன்னா நீ என்னன்னே தெரியாது மூணு வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடி குருஜியோட வீடியோ பார்த்து தீட்சை வாங்கி உபதேசம் வாங்கி நான் பயிற்சி பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் பயிற்சி பண்ணதுல இருந்து நிறைய மாற்றம் எனக்குள்ள இருக்கு இதுல முக்கியமான மாற்றம் என்னன்னா மனத்தை எப்படி கையாளணும் எப்படி அதை வந்து நம்ம கவனிக்கணுங்கிறத அவர் நிறைய நான் சொல்லியிருப்பாரு அதை நான் முக்கியமா அப்படியே நான் ஃபாலோ பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் ஒரு கவலையில இருக்கும்போது ஒரு உணர்வு வந்து எப்படி நம்ம அதை நம்ம பார்த்து கவனிச்சு அந்த எண்ணங்களை கவனிச்சு அதை சரி பண்ணணுங்கிறத அவர் சொல்லியிருப்பாரு அதை நான் முழுசா நான் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் அதனால இப்ப ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ல இருந்து நிறையவே எனக்கு குறைஞ்சிட்டேன் கவலை முன்னாடி வரும்போது அதை எப்படி நம்ம கவனிச்சு பார்த்து அதை சரி பண்ணி அமுச்சு விடணுங்கிறத அவர் சொல்லியிருப்பாரு அதை நான் அப்படியே ஃபாலோ பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் இப்ப கவலைங்கிறது பெருசா வந்து என்னை பாதிக்கிறது இல்லை அதனால வந்து குருவுக்கு ரொம்ப நன்றி லெட் மீ கம் டு தாயிண்ட் வெரி கிளியர்லி waste the time especially me i don't want to waste the time of yours so the thing which i am coming to say is why are you living here straight question straight forward question why did you come here and why are you living here inge yen vandirgal yen inge vaalndukondirukkirirgal you can answer me very good thappu illa adha than kekkara adha than kekkara andha thavaru onnu illa aama da pana sambariya vanna adha na sollunga apdi aama the first thing is we are in the need of money the next thing the next generation for better future so i came from sri lanka so you you based on sri lanka you and you came here for the better future for your kids right i appreciate it i appreciate it the main thing is that you are coming to say is the freedom and the happiness nothing else right okay i appreciate it then lifestyle nalla hmm uh oh ho ho So you are feeling the lifestyle is so good right i appreciate it i appreciate it. let me ask the another question okay see i have two options i can conduct this satsang in a polite way i know to speak like that the second option is very harsh way 
but in polite way you cannot come to know what is called truth if i say it in a harsh way which is called pulling up your mind touching your mind and killing the mind which is straightly destroying your ego i can do that but you will feel more pain you will get irritated you will get more tensed you may feel bad about me also but i don't bother about all those things i don't worry about all those things so let me give you two options the first option is polite way the second option is harsh way but you will come to know everything which way should i take poo padaya singa padaya sure okay appreciate it i really appreciate your courageous mentality and bravery i am speaking very straight forward way i am speaking in a very very clear way having a home having a beautiful wife having a handsome husband is not a blessing it's a trap having a mature kids is not a blessing it's another trap it's a bloody trap living a happiest lifestyle means it doesn't mean that you are living a actual happiest lifestyle do you know what is called real happiness do you know what is called happiness let me say it in a very scientific way do you know what is called happiness mean it's called dopamine secretion simple what is called happiness your mind is getting stopped at some point at that point when the mind is getting stopped your inside body is secreting a hormone which is called dopamine am i right or wrong when the dopamine is being secreted you will feel the happiness which is called bliss then i should ask you one thing if the happiness is coming from inside means why are you earning some other materialistic things from outside i'm asking that if you think that the happiness is coming from the materialistic forms or from your gold or from your money or from your person or from your girl or from your boy within 6 or 7 months do you really think are you getting the same amount of happiness from the same person or the same material then why are you living here see i didn't come here to deport somewhere okay i am not immigration officer and all okay see that's not my work also but you should know the value of your living for that reason only i am coming all the way from india to teach all these things see i am already in some other state i don't want to explain my state and explain my uh, inside spiritual status and all okay the god had already blessed me with so many good things so many beautiful things See, I have very high influence contacts around the globe. Around the globe. See, I am living my lifestyle in a very happiest way. I am already blessed with more materials. I am already blessed with more money. I am already blessed with more financial freedom. I am already blessed with more mental freedom. I am already blessed with so many good things. These kind of things you may have. i am very clear about it but the thing is the spiritual understanding the spiritual upliftment and the spiritual enlightenment i am damn sure you people didn't get yet by god's grace i got that also you understand my point by god's grace i got that also the actual truth you people didn't come to know yet the truth is based on nothingness the truth is based on something very tremendous the truth is based on illusion the truth is based on beyond the illusion see the floor which you are sitting the air which you are inhaling the visuals which you are seeing the property which you are conquering right now everything is illusion it is not here you must understand this first but to understand this kind of consciousness this kind of consciousness it won't come just like that because see you are seeing everything from your two eyes valala are saying is very clear way unak kangal unak kangal means do you know what is that fake eyes fake eyes these eyes won't show you the real truth see there are four eyes inside you these are all first eye which is called fake eyes the another eyes is called mind's eye mind's eye do you know what is called mind's eye manakkan Another one important eye is there, netrikan or the nyanakan, which is called Ajna Chakra or Wisdom Eye or Third Eye. The fourth eye is there, Arutkan, which is called God's direct vision. 
you cannot open that much easily you are not opening this size also how how will you open that kind of ice and all how will you do that see if i want to say it in a clear way it will take more time around a month to explain everything i want to make it as a nutshell to give it to you in a very clear way and very simplest way you understand my point the thing which i am coming to say is you are living a bullshit life even me before 5 years when i came to know this truth i really wanted to pass this truth to everyone who are all living around this universe living around this universe mark my words not in this world living around this universe universe means budhan velli bhoomi sevvai vyalan sani uranus neptune pluto nine planets one sun milky way galaxy not only this there are many galaxies there are many planets there are many living beings there are many other aliens are living more than our intelligence you are thinking your intelligence is high but your intelligence is not enough to crack this code you get my point you get my point or not what did you get what did you get there is nothing to wait see it's just here if you are ready it will go inside like this fraction of second it will happen the problem is you are holding everything you are holding everything you want to take care of your wife you want to make some money you want to settle your emis you want to take care of some other thing you want to go to home you want to go to work how will you attain the supreme point of enlightenment in this kind of mentality i am asking that See, it's it's there it's there it's already there the enlightenment is the most precious thing that you have to attain if you don't get enlightenment for this enlightenment again you will born here do you really want to take this sufferance in your life you may think what is your problem let me born again let me die again let me born again and die again born die born die there is no use of being born and getting die and again being born and getting die no use of the trait right? see in this currently i am speaking in this 2024 itself you have so many sufferances mentally physically financially soulfully willfully fundamentally thoroughly you may add all i am i right or wrong within next 50 to 75 years do you really think the oxygen will be here Yes of course the oxygen will be here but not from the trees you will get the cylinders each and every person will have one cylinder to in- inhale the oxygen and exhale the carbon dioxide inhaling the o2 and exhaling the co2 i am speaking in a very scientific way i am not speaking any ghost stories i am speaking very scientific reason see till you live in this life till you live this life if you are really craving about your food if you really have the craving about some food or some other materialistic things or car or a girl or a boy that craving will push you in a pit do you know what is called enlightenment detach from everything no you cannot detach from everything how will you detach from everything you cannot how will you detach from everything see me itself having uh, the desire on mukti me itself having the desire on mukti how how can i leave all those attachments you cannot do that mind in peace sorry mind in peace stay mind in peace okay let me ask you a question another question how will make yourself to be in the peace with the support of the mind in which way will you go through like you gurujis and Do you really think my mother and father had made me to teach you all these things? Why? So you are saying I am the only Guruji, all I can make pass it to you. So you don't have the actual inside Guruji inside you, right? It may be little complicated, but it's very very easy. There is only one thin line beyond that. If you can cross that thin line, you can easily understand the concept. See who gave the birth to your babies? You, you. just because having sex and intercourse do you really think will you make the baby can you do that then why are 
there are many infertility centers around the world if you can able to give the birth to a baby just because having sex or intercourse do you really think are you able to give the birth to a baby kolandaye solliruchu mudiyadu avanukku theriyudhu ungalku puriyala you cannot give the birth just like that to anyone you cannot do that it's not in your hands they should approve who somewhat someone something something which is beyond you beyond you the thing which i am coming to say is you can call it whatever you want jesus christ allah shiva brahma vishnu they won't bother about it all they want to hear from you is it's not you the biggest problem is you we became so arrogant nowadays we became so useless nowadays do you know how we started to ask the rights for other person's property do you really think is it a good way or do you have manners to do like this you didn't create the materials you didn't uh, manufacture any other things in this world all other manufacturing came from the based on panjabudas panjabuda means nilam neer nerpu kaatra aagayam nilam land neer water nerpu fire kaatra air aagayam sky or space am i right or wrong can you create any one thing without this five elements even a single thing will you can you make this can you really think can you make this then how can you say you are a creator i created this i created that i am the owner of this property i am the owner of that property how can you say like that who gave the rights to you but in this material world we need to say that see even though the thing is we have to follow all the rules laws and regulations of the australian government i accept that i know very well about that if i talk out of the law i will go to jail that i so i am very aware of it but the problem is you started to believe that is the actual real thing your body should be in the constitutional law but your mind shouldn't be in the constitutional law it has to think more than law more than everything you all people only know about only one thing which is called constitutional law there is another one law do you know what is called that Divine. five elements law panjabhuta sattam samudaya sattam mattum na ungalku theriyum panjabhuta sattam na enna theriyuma there is another one law beyond that do you know what is called that nine planets law what is called that nine planets la navakraha sattam there is another one la beyond that do you know what is that irai sattam divine la you people are always thinking from the society standards you people are always living in the society standard i am not saying anything wrong see it's enough you already lived more than enough in this way now it's time to go beyond that you have to jump or else you will again die again you will born again you will die again you will born thiruvalluvar says this very very clearly piravi perungadal neenduvar neendar iraivan adi seradar which means this whole birth is like a biggest ocean you have to swim this ocean if you don't swim this ocean you cannot reach the destination for this reason only you have to cross this path at any cost because without this human body see understand this thing without this human body you cannot attain any enlightenment if your body is the truthful thing then you must think from the way once you die will your family will accept your body will enjoy your body will have sex with your body then immediately within 1 or 2 hours they will destroy your body am i right or wrong then do you really think your beauty and your handsomeness your eyes your hands your legs your head everything is the actual property do you think in that way you may call your wife chello tango darling honey baby you may call it whatever you want after they die will you call the same name with that body how many days can you hold that body that dead body answer me 
do you have that much courage is mentality to have the dead body in your home oh my god i appreciate it any people like that i really want to fell down on your feet just raise your hands then see australian life is appreciable even i love australia especially melbourne and one more thing to say the positive thing to say positively we have one acre land in melbourne we have already registered our company name paramburul yogam private limited we have our official center now in melbourne this is the biggest achievement we have right now okay so in upcoming days in upcoming days upcoming months regularly i'm going to conduct the satsang for the white people also for another indian people that is going to have that is a different game man that's a different game but the thing which i'm coming to say is in this day if you people 50 people are coming means you shouldn't see me again that's the main thing i want to know each and every satsang you are coming and asking for some other spiritual discourses means are you really doing a spiritual shopping or what what are you doing here each and every time you are getting something from me i accept it but even i have work i want to go beyond some other realms i want to go more more other dimensions am i right or wrong you always asking me indirectly to do the satsangs very always only for you this is not good right you have to uplift yourself and you have to show me that you got something inside you and you got some wisdom inside you through that wisdom you have enlightened many souls like you i want to listen that from you see this is not the job of mahavishnu this is not a work of only one mahavishnu i need more mahavishnus don't i don't always put more efforts or don't always give more pressures on me i have more other works to do i want to travel more other countries see if i have a center here means that doesn't mean that i always come all the way to here and do the satsangs to make you enlightened see you have a soul you have a body you have a mind you have a context you have a wealthy context you have everything why don't you do this the main thing is just understanding what is the understanding nothing is true here to understand this will you take 100 years more do you really think like that how many mahan should come here for you how many siddhas and how many yogis are you really expecting to teach all these things see i am not saying anything new here i am already saying everything said by agathyar bhogar pulipani shivananda paramahamsa vallala everyone said the same jesus also said the same love is god anbe shivam didn't you hear about this in your past then why didn't you follow the problem is the main problem is you have only the knowledge there is no realization do you know what is the difference between the knowledge and realization see however within next one hour we are going to give you the food for dinner to eat okay if you are feeling so hungry let me take a note and write rice water beans drumstick lady's finger like that will you really feel if i write something just because of reading do you really think the hungry of yours will go away answer me no. why we can't feel that we didn't eat that is called knowledge that is called knowledge katradanal aaya payan enkol vaal arivan natral tolar enin கற்க கசடர கற்பவை கற்ற பின் நிற்க அதற்கு தக என்னத்தை படிச்சு வச்சு என்னத்தை பிரோஜனம் வாட் எவர் ஐ ஆஸ்க் யூ வில் ஸ்பீக் லைக் வைசஸ் பர்சன் இன் த வேர்ல்ட் ஃபார் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ் யூ மே ஸ்பீக் ஐ நோ யூ ஆர் வெரி வெரி வைசஸ் பர்சன் ஐ நோ ஐ நோ வெரி வெல் த ப்ராப்ளம் இஸ் த ஆக்சுவல் வைசஸ் திங்க் ஓன் கம் ஃப்ரம் த நாலேஜ் இட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி கம்மிங் ஃப்ரம் த ரியலைசேஷன் Do you know what is called realization? Do you know what is called realization? Within one hour I will give you serve you the food you will eat it after that will your hungry will your hungry go away 200% will go away you are eating how i are saying it won't go away for the time for the time only i am saying for that time only i am saying will it go away or not 
simple that is called realization the biggest problem of yours is you know about everything you read everything you already read everything but the problem is you didn't follow anything do you know what is the biggest secret if you have followed just only one wisdom if you have followed only one spiritual truth which was taught by the siddhas or yogis you may already got enlightened the biggest problem of ours the biggest tension of us is not following what we are saying even though if you are ready to attend next thousand satsangs or thousand spiritual discourses around the world you won't get enlightened i am very damn sure about it i have already said it right you are doing spiritual shopping you are not in the mood or you are not in the interest of getting enlightened if you really want to get enlightened you have to go through it see the spirituality is not actually the love and light that is the end the love and light is the end before that you have to go very very hardest path you have to cross many 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 painful path anxiety panic attack stress depression every every data which was stored in your mind and your brain will go away from you that is called karmic clearance you people are not ready for that but still you are in the need of some expectation and reality to reach something how will you attain that enlightenment you people are not ready to accept the sufferances yes one question so that means nothing belongs to us so so it is your husband or kids or friends or family so you get affected when things don't go your way your expectation so when that nothing belongs to me then i should not be expecting anything so when i don't expect anything then i don't i won't feel sad i am asking who are you to asking who are you you are not soul that's god's particle are you thinking you are a soul there is no you there is only one person which is called divine everything is maya the thing which is saying i or i am or you is completely ego ego means fake understanding wrong understanding bad understanding arrogant understanding you are nothing you are just a piece of shit you are just a dust you are nothing if you can say i am powerful i am this or i am that you shouldn't die edu ondra aliyamal irukirado adu ondre nirandaramanadu aliya koodiya ondru eppadi nirandaramaga irukum endru enadhu kelvi to understand this do you really think will you go another 40 years why are you wasting your time however you are going to die see one of my friend before one week he got an accident he died and he passed away i am just praying for his soul the god is saying that you cannot do anything for him do you know what is the reason behind it he didn't do any punya he didn't do any good things in his life raven enna anipunar raven enna anipirukkar inga edho oru duty seidittu vaan Yes, now you you people, you 60 people 60 got the time now. You don't talk about others. You no need to talk about others. Now it's your time. You have to turn. Simple. If you didn't come to this satsang, it's not your time. You've already come to this satsang, then it is your time to change yourself. If you're not aware, definitely they will ask more questions once you pass away from this body. i am not saying i am i am a powerful person i am not saying i am something like that i am not saying i am god say i am not i am nothing i am nothing i am a beggar i am a shit i am an idiot i am a stupid i belong to nothing i am no one see i am not saying it in a kind way it's actual truth you have to realize this then which is talking the desire is talking which desire is talking the desire of enlightening someone is talking which desires are sitting the desire of getting something the desire of earning something the desire of having something the desire of cooking something the desire of eating something the desire of living something is sitting and hearing then who are you nothing i went into that இறைவனின் தூதன்லாம் இல்லைங்க இறைவனின் தூதனா இருந்தா முக்காலமும் தெரியணும் உங்களுக்கு அடுத்து என்ன நடக்கும் இப்ப எனக்கு ஒரு இடத்துல அறிக்கிது எங்க அறிக்கிதுன்னு சொல்லுங்க நீங்க
இறைவனின் தூதனுக்கு எங்கே அறிக்கிதுன்னு கூட தெரியாதா என்னாலே கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியாது நான் அதனால தான் என்னவே இறைவனின் தூதுன்னு சொல்கிறது இல்லை ஹவு கேன் யூ சே தட் யூ ஆர் காட்ஸ் கமாண்டோ வி டோன்ட் ஹாவ் தட் மச் ரைட்ஸ் டு சே ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் தட்ஸ் அ வெரி பிக்கஸ்ட் ஓல் டோன்ட் எவர் யூஸ் தட் யூ ஷுடன் கோட் தட் மச் லாங் you should be in the mentality of we are just piece piece of shit and we are nothing only from that understanding you will get enlightened the biggest problem is this ego is again coming to destroy you see you are doing this you are not a doer you are not a doer the main problem is you are getting the doubt mainly on this only you have the main problem on this only you have often you are doing the often mistakes on this only you are getting the doubt on this only some point or sometime you get enlightened like yes i am not doing this but after some problems or after some situation you are thinking yes yes i am doing this that is your biggest problem you are not doing this if you are doing something means you should know what is going to happen next next can you say that how can you say that you didn't created anything then how can you say that i created this i created that you cannot say that see i am not saying anything wrong about you this is how exactly this world is running under this illusion under this maya so we have to break all the stereotypes by the understanding of we are nothing only through the, you shouldn't call yourself as god also you don't have that kind of permission you don't have any kind of access to that you shouldn't call yourself as god even the enlightened masses never called them as god do you know what is called god g o d do you know what is called that g g for generation o for operation d d for destruction padaithal kaathal alithal only three works of god only you know there are another two works of god are there the fourth thing is maraithal which means hiding the god is doing the hiding work also do you know what the gods are hiding they are hiding all the needful things all the things you cannot see you can only see the three dimensions only length breadth and width am i right or wrong three dimensions you can only see this thing the god had hidden you all other dimension there are fourth dimension which is called relativity kalam there is fifth dimension which is called pure divine there are more dimensions also you cannot go just like that only when you have love inside you the chemical reaction will happen when the chemical reaction is happening inside you because of showing the love on someone the inside love particles the god's particles your atoms will get changed as light particles through that love and light particles only you can understand who is god until that don't ever call yourself as god that's a sin the biggest the powerful Jesus Christ itself said I am not god I am a messenger of god am i right or wrong paralogathil irukkum engal paramapidavai na gupta naan naan paralogathil irukkira paramapidan guptara I love Jesus a lot do you know why do you know why I have already said it in many videos I love his intention of showing love I love his generosity I love his kindness. I love his truthfulness. I love every part of him. I love every mentality of him. I I love his help, helping nature. Forget about the all other things related to the religion and all. See, the religion means it's just a vehicle. Jesus is a destination. Christianity is a vehicle. Jesus is a destination. I am speaking about the destination. I am not speaking about the vehicle. Like Jesus, Allah. Allah. Whoever, 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 you can call it whatever you want. It won't get angry if you call it as some other name. All it needs is, you shouldn't call your name. You shouldn't show yourself. Because, see, if I, if I always say my name, your zero volts bulb only will work. If I always call God's name, do you really think it has some watts? infinite watts infinite watts of power you will get 
whenever you call the god's name you will get the power from the god whenever you say yourself you will get only your efficiency and your ability and your circumstances only through that only you can work for that reason only i am saying many people are dying very easily many people are getting affected just because of the lack of blessings Do you know what is called blessing? There is only one blessing only. In my point of view, in my understanding, I personally feel blessing is a only one thing. Do you know what is called that thing? Self realization. Simple. Once you realize yourself, it's go to it is automatically going to Piravila Piraval, which means there is no next birth. That is a only blessing. If you get one kg gold, that's a trap. If you get more girls, that's a trap. If you get more boys, that's a trap. If you get more properties, that's a trap. You have to come out of that also. The more materialistic things you get, you have to come out of it more clearly and more intentionally. Do you have that kind of courageous mentality and that kind of determination and that kind of dedication to come out of all those things? <laughs> Then you are saying in Australia, you people are earning money. You people have come here for that's what I have al already asked everything in the starting itself. Now you cannot deny it. You already get caught red-handed. you come here for the money you come here for the lifestyle you come here for the freedom do you know what is called freedom do you do you really know what is called real freedom do you know what is called freedom means accepting yourself as nothing that is called freedom do you know why i am saying this when you accept yourself as nothing at the same time you will become everything needing nothing attracts everything attached to nothing connected to everything am i confusing or is it clear needing nothing attracts everything attached to nothing connected to everything how where the focus goes there energy flows where the focus goes there energy flows If you focus on the gold, their energy flows. It will get you more gold. But the question is, will the gold will take you to the places, the actual places, the actual freedom places? I am asking that. I am not saying earning gold is wrong, but I am saying always earning gold is wrong. I am not saying earning money is wrong, but I am saying you are completely. destroying yourself and destroying your life and dedicating your life only for earning money is wrong see many people are coming here and working i am so happy to see this but you must understand one thing very clearly inside you you have the patience to work for a company for 40 to 50 years as a slave i am speaking very clearly just because of money just for money just to earn some uh, clothes just to eat some food just to build some shelter am i right or wrong but you people don't have the patience to realize god the actual truth just to practice for 5 to 6 years what kind of idiotic mentality is this enga voi mutikiradu nanu you have the patience to work as a slave for a person for 40 to 50 years however your uh, your uh, hair is going to it is it is act, actually in the very bad stage in upcoming years it is going to be gray and it is going to be white however you are going to die almost you died almost you died still you want to taste that honey right no konja naal vaandittu poita nalla irukku innum rendu veedu kattittu poiranga எனக்குரியம் <laughs> satisfying enlightening extreme is called sex see you may come out of everything very easily money you can come out of very easily land related things attachment related things you can come out of everything very easily at the moment of enlightenment the biggest problem that you are going to face is your sexual desire you cannot 
control that you cannot destroy that how will you reach that stage how will you reach that kind of stage in your life i've said very clearly having sex is not a crime having sex with multiple partners is not a crime but you have to face the consequences if you are not aware of your body condition you understand my point there is nothing wrong in this life but you should know the limitations of everything do you know what is called addiction anything you take beyond the limit is called addiction it may be cigarettes it may be alcohol it may be some other drugs it may be even your idli vada dosa pongal it may be your car drive it may be your two wheeler drive it may be your motor bike drive it may be some other places going it have it may be some other countries regularly visiting which means your mind is asking something you are fulfilling your mind's desire often for what for no reason for no reason but your mind is thinking that when you do that kind of things your mind is actually thinking that you are getting that kind of happiness i am asking one thing if the money is giving the happiness means now you have more money why did you come here the disappearance of mind is called happiness the stopping point of the mind is called happiness if you really think the 10 million dollars only will give you that happiness means let me do one thing now right now then you will come to know what is called happiness i am going to hide your slippers somewhere i am going to hide your car somewhere i am going to hide your keys somewhere now will you need million dollars or car keys slippers and car what will you need million dollars is second thing first what will you need now car keys and then slippers and then okay after 1 hours of searching what will you feel you didn't find that what will you feel inside panic frustration sadness how can you say that the car can give you the happiness this car now took out your happiness am i right or wrong am i right or wrong within 1 hour next 1 hour i am going to give you everything the car the slippers and the car key how will you feel that wow wow what took out your happiness what gave this happiness the car the slippers the car keys while you are searching your mind is running so panic tension stress depression ella karma andra kandravi ella when you got the materials your mind started to stop itself by its own which means your expectations making your mind to travel when there is a, some expectation is to be fulfilled your mind is getting stopped when your mind is being stopped at that time you are feeling that happiness that is called happiness you get my point the happiness is hide and seek game the happiness is once you get this car immediately your mind will start to run for some other thing will it go or not how will you get your happiness the idiots only will try to buy some car the idiots only will try to earn some millions the idiots only will try to marry someone to get the happiness the masters the pros the enlightened super beings always learn themselves to handle their mind first then control their mind into next level then stop their mind into third level then destroy their mind in the complete level mudalil manolayam piragu manonasam inna ungalku manolayame varla ini enga poi manonasam varapodu em thappa pesrana i don't say i am always right i may be wrong sometimes if i speak something wrong you should enlighten me i am always open to hear see only one thing you have to realize why are you living here why are you living here for what reason you are living here ungalku inna enna venu ne therla you didn't come to know what is your need here then why are you living just go and do suicide can you do that then why are you living you are wavering like something like a ghost and do something why are you doing this why are you giving birth to your babies you itself don't know what is called life what are you going to teach your babies you itself didn't know what is called life for what reason you are living 
in this kind of mentality you are teaching your kids something like that something like this you should do this you should do that bullshit you are destroying everyone's life wherever you go you are speaking something like idiot and changing someone's mentality panam danda unna kaapatha oru vaartha pod appa panam danda nu solittu adutha 50 varsham out avunuk see you don't need to mention my name you don't need to mention my paramburul yogam andal you don't need to mention my paramburul foundation andal you don't need to say my name to everyone you don't need to give the credits to me you don't need to do anything all i need is just escape from this reality this physical reality we are in a matrix game see this is one material understand this is one material and this is another material in your eyes it may seem like a material but this is not a material behind this material not behind this actually some other place some other dimension if this material has to be placed here in a proper way like this there is some coding in tamil we call it as brahman yanam in english we call it as matrix codes see for an example to say in website www.paramburulfoundation.in if you go to that website it may seems like a very beautiful website with more informations like what i'm doing what the foundation is doing what the sub blah 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 everything is there but the actual thing is you just right click that page and click view page source what should you do view page source if you click that view page source it will take take you to some other place which is called completely consisted with more codings html meta tag meta description tag keywords tag ab, ab, abstract tag heading tag h1 h2 h3 h4 there are many codings like that through that codings combination only the website is being built and it is showing as a website which means the beautiful website is based on more codings which you cannot see just like that same like this this whole planet this whole universe is in the codings matrix codings if i want to change this color i don't need to paint this if i know brahman yana and close my eyes or do some shambhavi mudra and access my consciousness into the higher frequency and higher vibrational level i can enter that consciousness once i enter that consciousness i will become a co creator of this universe when i become the co creator of this universe through my consciousness i can change the codings if i want to change the heading tag of a website means i have to find the heading tag and change the heading tag am i right or wrong the heading tag itself will change the heading tag alone will change same like that if i can find this coding in this universe if i can raise my consciousness in the higher vibration level i can easily change this color from my sitting place through my consciousness that is the power of consciousness in tamil consciousness is called as unarvu nilai kaadalagi kasindu urugi kannir malgi which means if you want to go the supreme consciousness there is only one way that is not meditation also meditation is just a tool at the point of time you have to forget the meditation also there is only one way where you can reach the divine only one way only one way there is no other way i am very very damn sure about it compassionate and love anbin valiyadu uyir nilai which means the destination of the soul the destination of divine the destination of supreme is in the path of love and compassion only if you don't learn the compassion while you are in this body if you don't know the art of loving some other person while you are living in this body if you are really thinking only through the meditation only through the detachment you can easily escape out of this matrix mean 2 minutes condolences to you it is not possible no way you cannot do that 
தாய் மாணவர் போன்ற உயர்ந்தநிலை ஞானிகளே வெறும் மெடிடேஷனில் போகணும்னு நினச்சி மெடிடேஷனில் போய் அப்புறம் உடலை விட்டு வெளியே போயிட்டா மோட்ச வாசலின் வீட்டு கதவில் அந்த வாசலில் அங்கு மிங்கு மலைந்து திரிந்து மீண்டும் மனித பிறவி எடுத்து அன்பு கற்றுக்கிட்டு கருணையை கற்றுக்கிட்டு எல்லா உயிர்களும் தன் உயிர் போல நினச்சி அந்த ஃபீல் கொண்டு வந்து பிற உயிர்கள் கஷ்டப்படும் போது அழுததுக்கு அப்புறம் தான் தேவ் அட்டைன் தட் ஸ்டேட் வெரி ஈஸிலி யூ ஆர் திங்கிங் யூ கேன் ஈஸிலி எஸ்கேப் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ரியம் ரைட் you no need to learn kundalini you you no need to learn vasi yoga you no need to learn paramburli yogam you no need to learn anything but the question is do you know what is called love the love which you are doing that is not love that is lust that is stupidity your love is deeply rooted into attachments and desires your love is deeply rooted into expectations your love is deeply rooted into illness your love is deeply rooted into envy greed and all other bad things if you are saying no no i am not like that let me ask you another question i am going to ask your husband or wife they are not going to work anymore from tomorrow in australia itself can you live your life can you live your life then how can you say that you are showing love to your husband and wife how dare you say that do you know what is called real love you people are doing a bullshit business that is not love excuse me for that the actual love is only on giving without any limits or without any expectations do you want the example for that trees is it really expecting something to give oxygen you may think that i am giving the water how can you say that you are giving the water to the trees how many days did you give the water to the tree the sun it is giving the sunlight always without expecting even if you wake up at 6 or 7 or 8 or even if you die it won't bother about anything by time on the spot at the utmost dedication level it will rise on somewhere and it will give the sunlight to everyone and everywhere that is the actual love man see i am not speaking any philosophies i am speaking the truth while i am speaking all these things i may seem like a some good philosopher i am an enlightened person see forget all those idiotic things i am nothing understand the concept the real love always stands for giving without expect anything in return let me say it in a krishna way give and give more without expect anything in return what did i say give and give more without expect anything in return such sacrifice by a devotee that enslaves god underline this word that enslaves god what did you give in your life what did you give in your past some iphones or something like that ask yourself very honestly and clearly did you give that thing or some other materialis things with expectation or without expectation ஒரு ரெண்டு பொருள் கொடுத்தா இவன் நம்ம கூடயே இருப்பான் புருஷனுக்கு ஒரு கார் வாங்கி கொடுத்தா வேற எவளையும் நினைக்க மாட்டா பொண்டாட்டிக்கு ஒரு நாலு பேக் வாங்கி கொடுத்தா எங்கேயும் போக மாட்டேன் It's time to change right now. It's not the time for the excuses. You don't need to convince me. Of course you cannot convince me. Just convince yourself. I am very right. I am always right because I know what is called right. Don't ever come all the way to say this thing that is not like this. It's 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 not like this. பொழந்து கட்டிடுவானுங்க தேவையாது எதுக்கு அடிக்கிறானுங்கனே தெரியாம அடிப்பானுங்க வேணுமா அது ஏன்னா நான் எந்த விஷயத்துக்குனே சரிப்பட்டு வரமாட்டேன் அதாவது சொல்லிட்டு போங்க நான் எதுக்குனே சரிப்பட்டு வரமாட்டேன் ஏன் அது அத்தனை டைம் வடிவலு கேட்கறாரு டே நான் என்னை நீ ரிஜெக்ட் பண்ணிட்ட தெரியுது எதுக்குனாவது சொல்றா நீ எதுக்கு ரிஜெக்ட் பண்ணு சொல்லு அப்பயாவது நான் திருந்துறேன் யூ மே ஆஸ்க் லைக் தட் பட் தே ஓன் சே த ஆன்சர் இது எவ்வளவு பெரிய வழி எதுக்கு அடிக்கிறானுங்கனே தெரியாம அடிக்கிறானுங்க தேவையாது டு யூ நீட் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் லைஃப் இன் யோர் லைஃப் in your next life or upcoming life 
ஆல் யூ பீப்புள் வெரி வெல் அவேர் ஆஃப் குர்மா பட் டூ யூ நோ வாட் இஸ் கால்ட் கர்மா த கான்சிக்வன்சஸ் ஆஃப் யுவர் இன்டென்ஷன் அண்ட் ஆக்ஷன் விச் இஸ் கால்ட் கர்மா the aftermath of your activities is called karma the intention behind the action is called karma if you don't know about the karma definitely you are going to born again you took around 50 years you took around 70 years something like that you people all are doing all this bloody shit things around the world still you didn't come to know what is called actual truth see this is a very big concept i cannot say everything in a word or in a day but what i can say is understand this truth first realize this truth first inside you all other teachings will happen automatically inside you it will blossom inside you it will blossom from you you get my point yes i cannot teach you all these things because for my understanding for my way of living for my sacrifices for my meditation sadhanas for my love for my givings for my understanding the god had given me many things now it's my choice now it's my choice whether i can give it to you or not how can you ask me always mahavishnu give this for free mahavishnu give this for free mahavishnu always available for me mahavishnu please come always to australia how can you say that how can you ask me that who gave the trice to you am i speaking anything wrong am i speaking anything wrong am i speaking anything wrong then what's wrong here the you is the main wrong thing the you is the main suffering the you and the i whatever it may be you can call it whatever the i and the you the you and the i the i and the you the biggest curse that you are having right now there is no you there is no i not universe if you go out of the planet you will get stumbled upon what i do i will die oh my god where is my shoot oh my god where is the planet how can i go down if you go just 15000 meters 15000 feet above the sky if you go just 40000 feet above the sky what will you do what will you do what is the fuel source that you have to make yourself live there above 40000 feet just by living in this planet just by living here just by living in australia huh? you are thinking that i got this i got that i am this i am that namm oor karengala inga vandha dhaan theri namm porra picture edukiradhu kashta porradhu thuppu vaangradhu la avanukku inga vandha dhaan theri ana namm oorukku pona matta built up australia i am living i'm doing this i'm doing that na ipdi na appo ungala thappu solalenga ipo eppa inga puridhalukku varradhu adha thaanga kekkuren naan எத்தனை வருஷம் தாங்க இன்னும் இப்படியே கஷ்டப்பட்டு இருக்க போறீங்க எத்தனை வருஷம் இப்படி ஃபேக்காவே வெளியில வந்து காமிச்சு எனக்கு தெரியாதா நீங்க என்ன கஷ்டப்படுறீங்க எனக்கு கண்ணை பார்த்தா தெரியும் எங்க செருப்படி வாங்கினீங்க எங்க மிதி வாங்கினீங்க எங்க அசிங்கப்பட்டீங்க பில்டப் வேற ஒவ்வொருத்தனுக்கு இப்படி ஒவ்வொரு பிரச்சனை இருக்கு ஒவ்வொருத்தனுக்கு ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹேவிங் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்ளம் கிங்ஸ் கார்டியன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ they have many thing they have many cars they have thousands of cars they have istana istana do you know what is called istana palace but the problem is when i see their eyes gokka makka nammale evlo paravalla poli they have so many problems in them they have so many problems with their wife they have so many problems with their husband they have so many problems with their asset they did many killings also they did many immoral things also they feel so guilty about it the biggest sin that they are carrying now is their guiltiness wherever they go for forgiving or getting some forgiveness they are not getting it if you come all the way to guru and ask for the forgiveness we cannot give you the forgiveness how can we give the forgiveness only the god can give you the forgiveness only the god can forgive you for your sins all we can do is can show you the path how you should walk how you should go where you should go how you can sustain over there how you can make yourself free and empty over there to reach that place our only work is we can show you the path but who should walk you there is no other option 
for that reason only i am saying this is a bullshit life this is nothing you are going to die very soon i have already said one story my friend already passed away i couldn't do anything no one can do anything இறந்ததற்கப்புறம் பின்தொடர்ந்து வரக்கூடியது உன் பாவ புண்ணியம் மட்டும் தான் ஒரு வளையல் வராது ஒரு வாட்ச் வராது நெத்தில வைக்கிற ஒரு ரூபாயும் அவனை எடுத்துட்டு போயிடுவான் தேவையாது நத்திங் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டை சூன் நோ ஒன் இஸ் கம்மிங் டு சேவ் அஸ் ஈவன் த அவதார் இட் செல்ஃப் கம் டு சேவ் யூ மீன்ஸ் it means it clearly means the avatar itself cannot save you just like doing some jeebumba magic and all the actual law to change this world through the support of the universe and nature is to make you understand something regarding this truth and you have to realize in your own tani manida maatrame ulaga maatram edukringa illa each and every individual should get this kind of enlightenment should go next level to attain some other level to reach the divine light i didn't say you to stop everything i didn't say you to stop everything but i said while you are doing something you should analyze it whether it is needed or not that is called awareness while you do something you shouldn't do just like that your awareness should witness it do you know what is the reason only when you have the highest awareness while doing something you will come to know it's nothing there is no need of doing this only through that awareness only you can come out of all the bullshit things or else you cannot come out of it only through the highest awareness only through the highest vibration only through the highest frequency only you cannot come out of this illusion or else you cannot come out of this illusion because now you are living in the dream now you are dreaming understand this you are dreaming now i am speaking in the dream i am a character in the dream you are also character in the dream there is no australia there is no law there is nothing each and every enlightened masters knows about it very well thambi appa idu dream appadina appa na thoongum bodhu varadha na while you are sleeping it's short time dream while you are awake it's longest dream but it's a bloody dream of course we are living in a dream we are dreaming we are dreaming we are dreaming when will you come to know that this is a dream only when you have the highest awareness by consistent practice or consistent mode of being in the mood of love through that love and compassionate being only the god will gift you that kind of vision to analyze everything in the easiest way that this is nothing எப்படி மகாவிஷ்ணு இவ்வளோ பணிவாக இருக்கீங்க எப்படி தன்னடக என்னடா பணிவு தன்னடக்கம் என்ன பெரிய பெரிய பணிவு என்ன பெரிய தன்னடக்கம் நம்மளே ஒன்று இல்லைன்னு தெரிஞ்சு போச்சு நம்மன்ற ஒன்று இல்லைன்னு தெரிஞ்சு போச்சு எதுவுமே நிரந்தரம் இல்லைன்னு தெரிஞ்சு போச்சு இதில் என்ன பணிவு தன்னடக்கம் வேற உண்மையாக இப்படி தான் இருக்கணும் நம்ம எங்கள் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி நம்மளுது இல்லை எதுவுமே நம்மளுது இல்லை எந்த ப்ராப்பர்ட்டியும் நமக்கு பிலாங் ஆனது கிடையாது எதையும் நம்ம படைக்கல இதில் என்ன அலங்காரம் என்னது உண்ணுது உண்ணுது என்னதுன்னு இன்னைக்கு உங்க புருஷனை ஏமாத்தி உங்க கண்ட்ரோல்ல வச்சிருக்கீங்க உங்க பொண்டாட்டி ஏமாத்தி நான் தான் உனக்கு மெயின் நான் தான் இப்படி நான் தான் அப்படி நீங்க செத்து போயிட்டீங்கன்னு வச்சுங்க பொண்டாட்டி ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்படுவாங்க நடக்குமா நடக்காதா வைல் லிவிங் த ஹஸ்பண்ட் இஸ் நாட் டீச்சிங் த ஒய்ஃப் டு லிவ் த லைஃப் இன் த அலோன்னஸ் த அலோன்னஸ் இஸ் த கிரேட்டஸ்ட் பவர் தே ஆர் மேக்கிங் தேர் ஒய்ஃப் அண்ட் த ஹஸ்பண்ட் ஆஸ் ஐ எம் த பிக்கஸ்ட் அசட் யூ ஷுட் டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் மீ யூ ஷுட் டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் திஸ் யூ ஷுட் டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் தட் ஐ எம் கிவிங் யூ த மணி யூ ஆர் பீயிங் அண்ட் யூ ஆர் மேக்கிங் எவ்ரி திங் ஆஸ் அ ட்ராப் unknowingly and indirectly and unintentionally you are doing this you are doing the greatest sin now once you go out of this body where will your wife go what do you think many people will make themselves to commit suicide do you know why all this year you have taught your wife and husband i am everything once you taught this kind of thing to your partner she will come to know or he will come to know yes you are everything once you disappear from here what will she think or what will he think yes my everything went away there is nothing so what is next point of living only for the kids right but many people will fail in that test also just because of seeing it many people won't live because my everything gone away so i'll also make myself to sacrifice my life do you know what is the consequences and what is the aftermath of suicide committing suicide 
you won't get next body towards mukti for next 500 to 600 years minimum it depends by calculating the karmas and karmic blocks and all but definitely you have to wait in the line wait in the queue you got trapped you are in the biggest danger you are doing many sins the final thing i am coming to say many people are living in the pride that i had sex only with my wife i had sex only with my husband i appreciate that but you have to come out of that also you have to see your wife as your sister you have to see your husband as your brother can you see like that if you see someone and if you feel some lust feel you have to come out of that if you see your partner and if you feel that it, it is ethical and i have rights to see my wife or a husband in a horny way or in a lust way that also you have to cross in tamil we say kamam krodham lobham mogham madam marcharyam dambam darpam irushe ase 10 kind of bad things are inside you even if you have the point of having sex with only one partner you have to come out of that mentality also can you do that if you cannot do that you are still in the trap what do you think getting mukti and all very easy right very very easy right getting mukti and all it's just murunga kadaila pona muka kilo ketone kuduthuruvanga eppadi kudupanga do you really think the mukti can be get the moksha can be get in coals or wolds words do, do you think like that coals market do, will you get the mukti where will you get the mukti it is the gift by seeing your lifestyle not the rich lifestyle or not something like this or that or something like that this is the gift by seeing your lifestyle on giving it to others what should you give you should give everything not only me see i don't mean money only you should pass the knowledge you should share the light you should share the love you should make someone to get enlightened you should show them the way if you don't show them the way the god will show them the way through another person if you show them the way for that result easily you will get some other person as your guide or guru or something like that or some other invisible character also you will get the support from some other realms or universe to save you from your illness from your hardest situation from your tension situations from your problematic situations you will get the solution if you don't get the solution it will automatically happen very badly and negatively to you you get my point the final question now you say why did you come to australia what is the asset that you are going to pass to your actual kids what is the actual asset that you are going to give for your kids your children your babies your friends your circle your family members your relatives if you expect something and giving it is called karma if you don't expect and give something it is called dharma the expectation will create the karma the non expectation through the dharma will destroy the karma which means dharmathin vali sella sella karmathin vali kurayum agathiyar saying this dharmathin vali sella sella karmathin vali kurayum appa which means the more dharma you do in this world the more karma you will eradicate from your life span from your brain from your karmic blocks and everything you get my point do you know what is called dharma it's very simple enak valikira mari avunukum valikum enak pasikira mari avunukum pasikum avala dhan dharma which means the same pain he will also get the same hungriness he will also get that is called dharma if you realize this you will go to the fullest to satisfy your soul simple this is called dharma dharma means to make someone to reach the highest is called dharma to make someone to live their life in a virtue path which is called dharma to make someone to realize the divine is called dharma it's not only on giving the food it's not only on giving the shelters it's not only on giving the materialistic things the dharma is fundamentally based on caring other simple the dharma is fundamentally based on 
caring others despite of seeing racism despite of seeing gender and everything the color the nature the country the species the creatures same for all the mosquito has the same soul same like you you are having the soul same like a mosquito how can i explain the dharma more than this if you know the art of this if you understand this concern and the this concept you won't kill the mosquito anymore because killing the mosquito is equal to killing a human being killing a rat is equal to killing the human being because the mosquito the horse the pig the donkey the birds and the animals everything is in their evolution process who are you to stop or kill them you are having six senses they are having one sense two sense three sense four sense five sense just because of you are having six senses do you really think can you kill another animals and another birds who gave the traits to you let me ask you another question the god is creating now itself the 10th or 11th sense creature right now the 10th or 11th sense creature is coming all the way to kill every humans to make some soups to drink to fry some brain and all humans brain and all will you accept it same like that you are doing just because the birds and animals cannot talk do you really think it doesn't have any pain then who are you to cutting the chain of and cutting the something of some other creatures freedom here do you really think this whole planet which is called bloody earth is only for the humans okay let me do one thing i will ask the god and destroy all other creatures let the god only make the humans to live here how many days will you live here within one or two minutes you will all die here am i right or wrong then who are you to stop and killing someone you are cutting the ecosystem you are changing the global warming you are changing the every aspects of this earth which is working in the nature of dharma the whole earth is in the mood and nature of giving something which is called dharma but you people are in the mentality of taking taking means in giving means dharma are you doing dharma or karma the whole life you people lived here only for taking not for giving i am saying that what are you saying now i challenge you all this year you have lived in this life only for taking 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 even while you are kissing your girlfriend or boyfriend while you are having sex with some other person which you like the most also you are in the mentality of taking kissing also there is some other thing do you know what is called kissing do you know what is called hugging do you know what is called intercourse your sexual urge and the ignorance of your mind is thinking that that body the opposite gender's body is giving something and i have to experience this that's not love your partner within some years will get irritated and they will start to hate you because unintentionally and unknowingly they will come to know that you are a taker not a giver that is the main problem now the couples are facing everyone is in the mentality of taking they are not giving anything they are not giving your partner will easily come to know your senses very very easily if you are in the mentality of giving they will easily catch it up if you are in the mentality of taking they will also come to know that you are taking something from them how will your partner respect you how will your partner will listen to you see the very first day you are seeing a girl they are very beauty you are approaching them with utmost respect utmost things and you are ready to give everything to them but after they come into your path and they said everything okay to you you are seeing them as a cheap material because they are already available to you you are not giving any respect to them in this way in the relationship will you get the hatred or love and affection only one word i am coming to say love is everything the god is not object the god is not a material the god is not someone who is sitting somewhere to bless you everywhere okay the god means is equal to consciousness 
கான்சியஸ்னஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு லவ் கான்சியஸ்னஸ்னா உணர்வுன்னு அர்த்தம் இறைவன் எந்த ரூபத்தில் இருக்கிறார் த காட் இஸ் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கான்சியஸ்னஸ் விச் மீன்ஸ் இறைவன் உணர்வாக இருக்கிறார் பொருளாக இல்லை இஃப் யூ ரியலி வாண்ட் த காட்லினஸ் to blossom into you if you really want to experience the godliness inside you you should practice the love mark my words underline my words what should you do you should practice underline this word you should practice, practice the love the love won't come just like that in mahabharata there is one monument character one biggest and very fam- familiar character which character will you come to know if i called mahabharata the karna Why are you remembering Karna? Many people said about Karna. Why? Because of giving, even though he stood for the wrong side, Adharma side, the bad side, the evil side, still he had the reputation. Still, I am talking about him in Australia. Why? Because of giving. But do you know, by birth, the Karna didn't have the giving mentality. He was same like you. I am very damn sure about it. at the moment when he came to know he wants something he need to get it from others many people started to hate him they never gave anything to him at that moment he got enlightened now i am going to be a giver to anyone na asiya patta mari yavana asiya poda kudadu as my sufferings as i got this sufferance no other people should get same kind of sufferance anymore in their life that kind of courageous mentality that kind of boldest decision only made him to be a greatest giver in mahabharata which is standing for decades which is standing for janma janmas i am coming to say even though in your past if you didn't have the mentality of giving it's not a problem chill now you can easily grow yourself to give something to others not only money i mean everything the more you give the more blessings you will get not to my foundation to everyone and everywhere that you see around the world just give only the givers can become a god the takers won't become a god the takers will go again into the karmic chain and karmic blocks கல்யாணங்களுக்கு போகும்போதோ இல்லை ஒரு ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்கு போகும்போதோ ஒரு குழப்பம் இருக்கும் சரி நம்மளை கூப்பிட்டாங்க இவங்களுக்கு என்னடா நம்ம போய் கிஃப்ட் பண்ணலாம் நம்ம பரம்பொருள் ஃபவுண்டேஷனோட முக்கியமான சில வீடியோஸ் நீங்க டவுன்லோட் பண்ணி வச்சுட்டு ஒரு பென்ட்ரைவ்ல போட்டு புதுசா திருமணம் ஆகக்கூடிய அந்த தம்பதிகளுக்கு கொடுக்கலாம் ஏன் வீடியோவை தான் கொடுக்கணும்னு நான் சொல்ல மாட்டேன் மெயின் சம்பந்தமான சில விஷயங்கள் யார் மிக சரியா பேசுறாங்கன்னு நீங்க நினைக்கிறீங்களோ அவர்களுடைய வீடியோவை காபி பண்ணி கொண்டு போய் கொடுங்க இதுதான் அவர்களுக்கு உண்மையான பொக்கிஷம் உண்மையான ட்ரெஷர் பரம்பொருளின் கருணையினால உங்களுடைய இடைவிடாத அன்னதானத்திற்கு நீங்கள் அனுப்பப்பட்ட பணத்தின் மூலியமாக பல லட்சம் உயிர்களுக்கு இது நாள் வரைக்கும் வந்து சாப்பாடு கொடுத்துருக்கோம் ஸோ கொரோனால இருந்து ஆரம்பிச்சு ஒரு நாள் கூட விடாம பல உயிர்களுக்கு வஸ்திர தானங்களாக இருக்கட்டும் படிக்க முடியாதவங்களுக்கு கல்வி தொகை கட்ட முடிய விஷயங்களாக இருக்கட்டும் இல்ல ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் ரீதியா விளையாடக்கூடிய நல்ல மாணவர்களை அனுப்பி வைக்கக்கூடிய விஷயங்களாக இருக்கட்டும் அதை தொடர்ந்து வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரெகுலரா மந்த்லி பேசஸ்ல ஏழை குழந்தைகளுக்கு குரோசரிஸ் கொடுக்கறதாக இருக்கட்டும் இல்லை அவங்களுக்கு வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சேம் அவங்க விருப்பப்படுறவங்களுக்கு வீட்டு துணிமணிகள் வீட்டுக்கு தேவைப்படக்கூடிய மற்ற பொருட்கள் வாங்கி கொடுக்கறதாக இருக்கட்டும் எல்லா உதவிகளும் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா உங்களோட உதவினால தான் போயிட்டு இருக்கு சாது சிதம்பர சுவாமிகள் வளநாட்டார் வந்து ஒரு வார்த்தை சொல்லுவார் பசித்தோர் முகம்பார் பரம்பொருள் அருள் கிட்டும் அப்படின்னு வந்து சொல்லுவாரு வள்ளல் பெருமானும் ஜீவகாருண்யம் உள்ள சம்சாரிகளுக்கு எப்பேற்பட்ட சூழ்நிலையிலும் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவங்களோட லாபம் தடைபடாது தொழில் பிரச்சனைகள் வந்து நிவர்த்தியாகும் அதை தொடர்ந்து வந்து வாழ்க்கையில குடும்ப பிரச்சனைகள் விலகும் அது போக குழந்தை சம்பந்தமான பிரச்சனைகள் எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் வந்து இந்த அன்னதானத்திற்காக நீங்கள் செய்யக்கூடிய ஒவ்வொரு ரூபாயும் அது வந்து உங்களுக்கு நிச்சயமாக புண்ணியமாக வந்து சேரும் புண்ணியத்தை கடந்த நிலையில் முக்தி பாதைக்கும் அது நிச்சயமாக உங்களை வழி நடத்தும் அதனால விருப்பப்படுறவங்க நம்மளுடைய பரம்பொருள் அறக்கட்டளினுடைய சேரிட்டி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ்க்கு தங்களுடைய விருப்பப்படக்கூடிய நன்கொடையை கீழே உள்ள டெஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ல இருக்கக்கூடிய அக்கௌண்ட் நம்பருக்கு செலுத்தலாம் இதற்குண்டான அந்த அருளை சித்தர்கள் உங்களுக்கும் உங்கள் குடும்பத்தாருக்கும் வழங்க வேண்டுகிறேன் குருவின் பரிபூர்ண அருளாகிகள் குருகடாட்சம்